Hey everybody, this is Dan. Uh, today I'd like to share a chess puzzle with you that comes from a game that I played against a computer. And uh, in this position, it's white to move, checkmate in four moves. So before I give any more information, feel free to pause the video, see if you can find uh, the solution or some ideas for white on how to proceed here, and then unpause when you're ready. Okay, so in this position, white actually is able to force a smothered mate or smothered checkmate which is a checkmate that occurs when um, the white knight, or just a knight in general, checks the opposing king, and the king is completely blocked or hemmed in by his own pieces and pawns, and therefore has no squares to move to, and is checkmated. So white is able to force a checkmate like that in four moves. And the combination, which is a really beautiful chess combination, and I encourage you to look up some more information on smothered mates, uh, after you see this video. The Wikipedia entry has some example games and uh, chessgames.com has some game collections and there's tons of other resources. This is a, a pretty famous checkmating pattern. So anyway, move number one for white is knight to f7 check. This move checks black's king and leaves black with only one possible response which is king to g8. The second move for white is knight to h6 check, actually double check, the queen and knight both check black's king, and um, in chess, when there's a double check, the checked king must always move, because it's impossible to capture two pieces in one move, and it's impossible to block two checks in one move, so therefore, in, a, in the case of a double check, the king always needs to move. So, because the rook on f1 is blocking the f-file, so the king cannot go left, the king goes right and runs back to the corner with king to h8. The third move for white is the one that's really, really cool, and before you know this pattern is a little bit tough to spot, uh, definitely a, a tricky one to see, and that is queen to g8 check. So what you notice here is that the knight, the white knight protects the white queen, so the black king cannot capture the queen. So that leaves black with two options. One is knight takes queen, and in the case of knight takes queen, you'll see that now the black king is stuck in the corner with no escape squares, and so the white knight calmly jumps to f7, and this is checkmate. So here you see the first of the two possible smothered mates in this combination. So you'll see the smothered checkmate occurs when the knight checks the king, the king is completely blocked by his own pieces and pawns, and so the check becomes checkmate. Okay, so in the case of this queen move, queen to g8 check, there's also rook takes queen, but no problem for white because in this case the same knight to f7 checkmate is still there, and so uh, doesn't really matter which piece black chooses to recapture with, white will checkmate on f7 with the knight. So just to review one more time, the combination starts with knight to f7 check, king to g8, knight to h6, double check, king to h8, queen to g8 check, knight takes queen followed by knight to f7 checkmate, or rook takes queen followed by knight to f7 checkmate. So I think this was a pretty cool combination that um, if you're ever able to pull off in an actual game is really really satisfying and, and, and uh, just a really beautiful chess combination. It's one of the classic combinations and uh, if you're a chess fan, you definitely appreciate how cool this is and how beautiful the, uh, the mating pattern is. And so it's a good one to know. Maybe it doesn't happen all the time, but it is definitely a, a pattern that does occur. So uh, definitely something to watch out for in your own games. So hope you like this video. Thanks a lot for watching. Feel free to subscribe to my channel, like this video, like any of the other videos on my channel. And also check me out on Facebook. Uh, there's a link on my YouTube channel to the Facebook page. And thank you very much, everybody, for the support and for watching the video. And uh, that's it. Thank you very much.